There you go, three seconds of not dumping. So let's get the video. We are gonna talk, I'm gonna finish setting this up, about TOT. And we are gonna, yeah, TOT, it's a fairly simple app. I'm just getting my Mac set up here to record. Yep, audio from the webcam so I can sync it up. And then let's record on the iPad too. Oops. Make sure the iPad camera's on. Microphone is off, there you go. Start recording. Record. Now we're synced. Like I said, we're talking about Taunt. Um, yeah, Taunt. Taunt is a pretty simple, easy utility app. Um, I actually used drafts for this feature. I don't even know if it's a feature, this system before, just to capture quick text uh, and then to you know, toss it away. So this might be something as simple as, uh, I used it to write an email yesterday, taunt specifically. I wrote an email to my friend Dan, who was best man at my wedding and happens, to, I'm at the nerd he knows. So his when he broke his site, he said, hey, Curtis, help last week and we were working it out. <clears throat> but when I looked at his host and other stuff, I had to, you know, write the email and capture it and do some research. And then, where does that go? It doesn't really go in my email client yet. I got to put in links. I got to revise it. And that's just not the best spot. So that's where Taunt came in. So let's start with Taunt on the Mac because that's what I'm hooked up for first. <clears throat> it is, is this one? Yeah, it's that one right there. I say, is it this one? Because it's hard to know. So what you can see right here is I'm on, there are only what? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven areas for text. And I've already filled this one this morning. Did that with my iPad. I'll show you that in a minute. So one of the nice things about on the Mac is I have it set up to shift control T and it just pops it up for me. Uh, and does it select? Can I start typing right away? Yeah, I can. So it's selected something right away. Um, great keyboard command. I like that, which means it actually doesn't show up in um, uh, whatever the app switcher is. So I like that feature. That's great. And on the Mac, or on the Mac, I'm going to use it just like that. Capture some quick text. I've actually used something called Scratch before. There you go. And it grabbed what was ever last on my clipboard. Um, and this is actually built on text edit, uh, but it has some issues. Occasionally, it's like, hey, I'm trying to save this, and it can't, and it starts like bouncing in my dock. And so that's only okay, and it doesn't pass text back and forth with my iPad. That's the other problem. Problem with it. So I'm gonna leave Taunt up here just as a utility. I don't use my Mac a ton. It's not the place that I really do a lot of stuff, but it'll be good here to you know write uh, an email in. Um, that'll be great. I'm not sure. So you can actually say uh, it's a menu bar icon right now, but I can also change it to a dock icon and actually have it set up as uh, just an app. So I may end up using it like that. Um, I may not have to see how that works out long-term on my Mac. Um, yeah, I'll just have to see. So now let's switch over to the iPad. I'll switch over my Keychron K2. Connection lost. And we are on the iPad. So on the iPad, it works the same. This is how I used it this morning. Oh, bring up my trackpad because I turned it off. And is it actually turned on? It is. Trackpad, there you go. So I used it this morning. I grabbed YouTube and then I grabbed Taut. Then I watched, oh, I can find it in my history library. Hmm, history, I watched this one right here. The apps that make the iPad Pro worth owning. Entertainment experience. So I watched this and then I used it to just capture things that I thought about as I went, right? That'll be the YouTube link to the video just in case I wanted to keep it. Um, I took down some of the apps. So I actually have like a long-term review planned of uh, budgeting money apps for my iPad. Um, and some other ones, I, I don't know what retouch is. SSH, I mean, I'm a nerd, so SSH. Calzy is a calculator, and I like I use Solver a lot on my iPad because it does quick formulas, stuff like that, but that's something I'm interested in. Jumbo, I don't even know what this app is. Um, let's look it up. App Store. Jumbo. Jumbo Privacy and Security? I don't know. So, we'll look that up. Food and drink? I don't know. We'll find out what this one is. Um, right, liquid text. I don't know what that one is either. Liquid text. This is another recommended cool app in there. Let's see. So, 
liquid text, annotate and review documents. Okay, so that's another like PDF editing. I'm not sure that I'll have to review though. Um, so this is what I use it for really here, taking some quick notes. I'm gonna move these over into Notion as my content calendar. I already did a video on that. That'll be linked below and above. Um, and then I came, just came up with other video ideas as I came here and kept that text. Now you saw that text was already captured through to my Mac as well. That's really what Taunt is. Um, it's free on the Mac. It is $27.99 Canadian. I think it was 20 bucks US. Um, so it's not cheap on the iPad, but is it useful? So I always think of these things as, am I gonna get 20, $30 of value out of it? And the fact is I was always like going into drafts and being like, oh, where's that little, oh, here's, here's a little piece of text. And I'd realize I have like nine blank documents because I'd moved the text somewhere else. And that was just, I gotta go back through and delete them, right? So. It's not like a huge issue, it's not a huge problem, but it's annoying. And Taunt really is just meant to hold the little bits of text that that I have. Um, yeah, that's it, little bit of text that I have, right? It's got some quick keys, it's got some other stuff. I can do match system for my um, view or for my um, design, right? And it's set for I uh, use colored backgrounds already, uh, the app icon, there's a custom app icon. I actually never get this. Why do people use it? I, I usually just let my kids choose. Um, it supports Markdown well. It's got some export options uh, right under the share. Uh, how do we export again? Taut. Oh, there you go. Designed by the icon factory. Swipe support with the trackpad. Welcome to Taut. So you can use it for many tasks. People use it for is that my export. Yep, there's my share. Um, so I can clear all text, replace all text. I can replace that, replace with the clipboard. I can send to deliveries. I'm getting into more of my just shortcut stuff here. So ultimately, I find being taught very useful. It is it has a word count at the bottom, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's a great place to capture my text. It's a great place just to put it for a little bit, and I'm going to deal with this text sort of after this video. Uh, yeah. So that's it. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up. If you love the video, subscribe. You're supposed to hit the bell, but make sure you turn notifications off on your actual device because you should be doing stuff instead of just waiting for every video. But watch my videos, please. Uh, if you really love it, you can support the channel at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, where for as little as $5, you can help these things keep coming because they there's $30 to test this app <laughs> to make sure. I knew, I knew I wanted it, but it costs a lot to buy stuff and to test it out and let you know about it. Have an awesome day.